Hi, I'm Zach Marshall with AC Controls and this is a demonstrational video on how to set up and calibrate the BLX V100 positioner. This is the BLX V100P model which operates off of a 3 to 15 PSI supply signal. What you're going to need to do the calibration is a milliamp calibrator and an air supply. So what we do first is we adjust our milliamp calibrator to 4 milliamps and what you can see is that 4 milliamps should correspond to uh, a 3 psi signal. Then what we want to do is we want to open this rubber cover which underneath here is the zero screw is located. What we want to do is we want to make an adjustment to the zero screw in order to move this gauge here to about 3 PSI. So we adjust the screw to the left to get an increase. You can see that the gauge has moved off of the zero. You might have to turn it back to the right just a tad. So we've got about a 3 PSI reading on this gauge. So then what we want to do um, is we want to adjust uh, the milliamp calibrator here. Just slowly bump the, the input signal. We'll go to 4.1, 4.2, and we see that this gauge here is starting to increase, it's starting to move. Keeps moving, as I increase it, it keeps on moving up. If we, and if we go to 12 milliamps, we're at 50% open. Remember your milliamp signal correlates here to your input signal. So it's a 12 milliamp signal is a nine PSI input signal. So then in order to adjust the span adjustment, we need to go to a 100% input signal. So we want to move our milliamp calibrator here to 20 milliamps. So now that we've adjusted the input signal to 100%, what I'm going to do is pop the cover off of the positioner. It's got captured screws, so they're not going to fall out in the field, which is a really nice feature of the positioner. And then in order to get to the span adjustment, where we set the range, we're going to pop off the position indicator here. And here you can see the red is the span and you can also adjust the zero from inside of the positioner with the cap off. So you can adjust the zero from here externally underneath this rubber cover or you can also make adjustments to it here on the yellow screw. So to adjust the span to decrease the span or range we want to turn this red screw to the left. But to increase it, we want to turn this here to the right. And all of these positioners come factory calibrated, 0 to 100 percent, plus or minus 1 percent. So typically what you see is that you just have to adjust the zero on these positioners. But if you do, this is where you adjust the span. Now that we've adjusted the range screw, we're going to pop the position indicator back on. We're going to place the cover back on. And then we're going to check to make sure that when we're at a 4 milliamp signal, that our zero doesn't need to be adjusted. Because sometimes when you set the span on these, you may need to make adjustments on the other end to the range. So we'll go to 12 milliamps, 9 PSI input signal, and we see that we're 50% open, and we're at 9 PSI on our input gauge. And then we'll go to 4 milliamps, and we are closed, so we do not meet, need to make an adjustment here to the zero screw. But if you do, here's where you just want to make sure that you make an adjustment to be at 3 PSI at a 4 milliamp signal. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
and found it useful um, and helpful in setting up and calibrating the BLX V100P positioner. Some optional um, accessories to the V100 base unit. This is the V100P, um, which requires an external I to P. Um, the, or you can have it with a built-in I to P, and that model is called the V100E, and here is the I to P. You can add this to an existing V100P. It's very easy to do. You pop out one screw, plug up this um, module inside, and you're ready to go. Um, I'll show here is the V100E. You can see what you can see here is it's got the feed, it's got the I to P built into it. The standard coating for the BLX V100 is an epoxy coating. You can see here that's the gray models. But there is an available nickel plated option which um, performs better in harsh corrosive environments. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. I hope you found it to be educational. Please feel free to email us with any questions at info at accontrols.com.